everyone. I'm Mickey Trowbridge, and this is your pre-flight routine number two. Today's practice is going to focus on low core. So when we talk about core in yoga, we're referring to basically everything from knees to ribs, uh, not just the six-pack muscle or your abdominal muscles. So today's practice is going to work on firing up those inner thighs and the low, low belly uh, to help us have better control over our legs when we're upside down. So that is where we're headed. Let's get started. Down on the back. As you come down onto the back, we're going to bring your legs up toward the sky. And let's bring your arms onto the ground beside you. Palms face down, shoulders descending into the floor. And we'll take our legs up to straight with the heels pressing toward the ceiling. Let's pause here for just a full breath, fill up. And a full exhale, let it go. Stay for your inhale, lengthen through the heels. And then as you exhale, we're going to slowly open your legs into a wide V. Take the entire exhale to get all the way wide, and then the entire inhale to bring those legs back together. But we're going to crisscross the legs with the right leg in front as you bring them back together. Latch the feet, hug those inner thighs together. Exhale, hips lift an inch up off the ground. And then inhale, let the hips come back down to the floor. Exhale, left leg is going to slowly lower toward the ground. Have those legs cross like a twist tie. And then inhale, bring the leg back up. And we'll start again. Exhale, open into your V. Inhale, bring the legs together, this time with the left leg in front. Latch the legs. Exhale, heels an inch toward the sky. And then inhale, descend the hips. Exhale, right leg lowers. Keep those inner thighs pressing toward each other. Inhale, bring the leg back up. And we'll begin again. Exhale, open into the V. Inhale, back together, right leg in front. Latch the legs, press up. And lower down. Exhale, left leg lowers. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, open, wide V. Inhale, back together, left leg in front. Heels to the sky, hips up an inch. Exhale. Inhale, lower the hips. Exhale, right leg lowers. Inhale, bring it back up. Let's go through that all one more time. Exhale, open into the V. Inhale, close. Right leg in front. Heels to the ceiling. Exhale, one inch of lift of the hips. Inhale, lower. Exhale, left leg drops toward the floor. Inhale, lift. Legs open, exhale. Inhale, back together, left leg in front. Heels to the ceiling. Hips descend. Right leg lowers, exhale. Inhale, bring it up. And one more time, we'll open the legs. And this time, just bring the feet together without the crisscross. Bend the knees, bring the knees into the chest. And let's rock up and down your spine. And bring yourself up and over into table. As you come into table, let's tuck your toes under. Float the knees up an inch. Imagine that you're hugging something between your legs and do your best to not kind of sink into cow or round into cat, just a long neutral table. Firm that outer right hip in and let's start to take your left leg back to straight, right knee still hovering off the ground. And then exhale, bend that left knee, bring it in toward the chest. Try not to round your spine. Inhale, back to straight. Exhale, bring it in. 
Inhale, back to straight. Exhale, bring it in. Keep those arms straight. Lower your left leg back to that floating table. Other side, right leg back. And knee in. Two more back. And in. Last one, kick it back. And bring it in. Toes to the floor, floating table, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, full. Give yourself a couple breaths here. You can grab opposite arms if you'd like. Let the head hang, let the arms dangle. And then keeping the power in your legs, the strength in your legs, let's walk it back out into your downward facing dog. As you come to down dog, let's inhale plank pose. Make it work for you. We're going to take right foot lifted off the ground. With those right toes pointed toward the, the floor, we're going to slowly start to drag your right leg out toward the right, maybe 6 to 12 inches, maybe a little bit more. And then bring it back to where it started. Cross your right leg over the left and latch the ankles. Squeeze those inner thighs together and up. Stay here. Come forward on those left toes. Bend your elbows. Chaturanga and back up to plank. Uncross the right leg and put it down. Other side. Left leg lifts. Toes point straight down. Pull it out toward the left. And then bring it back. Cross the ankles. Stay or chaturanga exhale. Inhale back up and plank. Right leg lifts. Pull it out. Bring it back in, cross it over. Hug those inner thighs in and up. Stay or chaturanga. Plank. Uncross the legs. One more on that left side, lift. Pull it out to the side. Bring it back up and over, cross, chaturanga, plank, uncross, downward facing dog. Walking your hands all the way back to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees enough that the hands can get down on the ground. And let's take your right leg and cross it in front of the left. So just like we've been doing, pinky edges of the feet lined up as much as possible. And let's do what you need to do to get your hands flat on the floor. If you need a couple blocks below your hands, that could be a good option. Feel that hug in of the inner thighs and that lift. And then let's start to press down into your hands. Feel a little doming of your back a lifting of the low belly. And let's look between your hands. Put a soft bend into your knees. And with as little hop as possible, we're going to roll onto your hands, lift the feet, and recross other leg in front. We're going to do that a few times. <laughs> knees bent, shift into your hands, hug those inner thighs, lift, recross, put down. Couple more, use the exhale to find the lift. Recross, put down. Those of you that this is coming easily to, try not to bend the knees at all, keep the legs straight. How about two more? Those of you that this is coming really easily to, try to linger for a little while. Come up onto fingertips, uncross the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Feel the shoulders move away from the ears. The shoulder blades glide together. Exhale, fold. Slowly come on up all the way to standing. Let's grab your two blocks. 
If you don't have them, you can make do. I'll give an option for that. We're going to come to standing about mid-mat. Let's put the blocks just slightly near the back half of your feet. Start to sit down toward chair. Let your hands find the blocks. Wait until the right foot. Keep that right knee nice and bent. Let's take your left leg back. and then left knee comes back forward, you might just stay here. So those of you without blocks, this is a great option. Or we're going to start to kick that left leg forward. So if you don't have blocks, hands could be at heart, and you could kick the leg forward. With the blocks, you might bend that right knee more, come down to a squat, kick the left leg forward, and then whoop, right back to where you started. A couple of those. Try to keep those inner thighs magnetically hugging toward each other. How about we do one more at that left leg? We'll pull it back into your chair with hands down. And let's do that other side. So left leg stays bent, right leg goes back. Bring it in. If you're not using blocks, maybe you bring hands to heart and kick the leg forward. Or squatting it down, right leg goes forward. Pull it back. <laughs> and forward. Let's do two more. We'll pull it back. Find your chair. Come on up. Press it down into your feet. Rise up. And hands to heart. Big full inhale here. Full exhale. Release your hands. One last thing in this pre-flight today. Let's grab your blocks if you have them. Wide stance in the feet facing the long edge of your mat. Blocks are optional, but they might be helpful. And we're going to let your hands come flat. So that's What's going to determine if you want blocks or not? So if you want hands flat and you can't do that on the floor, add your blocks in. If you can do it on the floor, then maybe the blocks go away. Wrist below your shoulders. Let's start to roll up onto the tippy toes. Hips are high. And then exhale, heels drop toward the ground. I want you to feel like you're trying to hug and hold something between your thighs. How about two more of those? Roll up to the tippy toes. Hips are high. Exhale, heels descend. One more time, roll up. And heels drop. So some of you stay with that. If you want a little bit more, we're going to roll up onto those tippy toes. Try to hover your right foot off the ground. If that happens easily, maybe that right foot taps your left foot and then take it back and put it down. Heels drop, take a breath. Let's do the other side. Come onto the hands, hips high, come to the pinky, the, the <laughs> tippy toes. Maybe you hover that left foot. Maybe it taps the right foot, goes back to the left, and step it down. Heels descend, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Grab opposite arms. Let the head dangle, let the arms dangle. And then press down into the floor and heel toe your feet in. Come on down to your shins. And hands to your lap. That is today's pre-flight. If all of that together was too much for you, take the pieces that you felt like you really connected with and build those into your practice, and you'll start to see the development of strength and awareness over time. Thank you so much for practicing together. Namaste.